All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to complete the Sitsun Shrine up on the hillside of Death Mountain, near the top, near the Caldera. And the Sitsun Shrine is all about building Zonai cars and driving them around so you can drive through lava without getting melted, like a popsicle thrown onto the hot as asphalt in the summer. So they kind of start you out with a freebie car right here that you can drive around and it goes at a pretty decent pace so you can kind of drive it around corners and there will be a couple spots where we need to go up a side path in order to get some free goodies because you know everyone likes a little bit of a full completion of a dungeon during a guide but what we need to do is a there's going to be a chest we're going to go get and B, there is a ball up this side corridor that we need to bring back in order to open this gate. So we're going to drive over here to this side cor corridor or like hallway. Don't forget that you can actually back these cars up if you do like I did and run up the side of the wall. And then the little ball is just up here on top of a little ledge. Just go ahead and stop your car, grab it, weld it to your car because it's round. It'll roll off. I've had that happen in other shrines where I've not attached it directly and had to go back and get another one. And then you can just back up, slap it into the receptacle, and then that's all you gotta do. It'll open up this side corridor so that you can get a free chest. We'll just grab the ball, flop it into there, and that will open up the little side room, the little gate, and then from inside of there, you can get your extra reward. In this case, the reward is an extra construct bow, but it's actually a pretty good one. It's got good damage and it's also got extra durability, both things that I like in my bows. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that. And then I'm just going to use the exact same vehicle as I had before to go run over the constructs in the next area. So. Right over here off to the right, kind of up a ramp, there's a there's a construct. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to build a flying machine in this next area to fly through a massive open pit. As to the construct, I'm not too terribly worried about it. We're just going to run it over because we have a car. So why wouldn't we? And then I'm going to slap it in the face because this one's pretty, pretty weak. Although I did set off the free flying machine that they gave us. So we'll have to construct our own. So I'm actually going to just have to grab off of like my car. I'm going to grab the steering wheel because these are already basically completed. They just don't have a steering wheel. You don't need the steering wheel. I've seen other people do this particular shrine without it. But in this case, it's just nice. There's no extra chest over here. We've already gotten the bonus chest. So all we have to do is navigate these massive pillars inside of the doomsday room. And then our destination is on the opposite corner. We just have to land like we're landing on an aircraft carrier in the middle of the Atlantic. And then we can run over and grab our lights blessing. And then we're all done with this particular shrine. We'll just uh, do a little bombing run and smack that into the actual altar at the end of the map. And there you have it. That is how you do the Sitsun shrine. It's a pretty quick one. But it's good to see where all of the stuff is to make sure you don't miss out on any hidden goodies. That's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. And uh, yeah, bye everybody and have a good one.